again, YouTube audience. In today's episode, once again, is another featured server. So basically, this one is called Chaotic PvP, and it's quite well known if you go on uh, Planet Minecraft. It's got a few diamonds, which means it's a very good server indeed. I think at the moment it's at approximately 33 diamonds. So yeah, if you like the look of it, I'll be posting a link in the description and head over there and give it a diamond if you like it. Also, there will be the IP address for you to be able to join the server so there's that as well so basically this here is the spawn area as you can see it's quite wide and open and yeah you're not going to be getting lost very easily um, one of the first things I, was, I really noticed was the amount of pigs they seem to be absolutely everywhere and no you're not going to end up in jail I mean the actual pig pigs so yeah basically what we got here is spawners all over the place and as you can see you're never ever ever going to run out of food which is very awesome. So this kind of server is a PvP server as you can tell by the name itself obviously and what you start off with is the iron sword, the iron helmet, chest plate, boots and leggings as well as 16 cooked steaks, a block of diamonds, 16 oak wood and 5 TNT. I assume the TNT is going to be for TNT mining so don't go around trying to grief everything. Uh, whether or not it's been disabled, I doubt it. Uh, as you can see, one of the plug plugins you can see already has popped up on the screen right here. Clear lag. Basically, what this does is if I chuck an item on the ground uh, like that, in one minute it will remove every item off of the ground. So if you're doing trading and you're seeing that and you're handing around diamonds, just be wary of that because everything that was dropped on the floor will be removed. And that means that if you've got your diamonds on the floor, that it removes all the items, they're going to be lost and you can't do anything about that. So yeah, pre warning about that. One of the other plugins we've got as well on this server is uh, auctions. What we got on the auctions, I'll show you this actually. Help flow auctions. Now what this enables you to do is to auction off your items to other bidders on the server. Now what this is, is um, basically if you want to auction off a item such as your iron helmet, you would auction it off at a start price and then people would bid on it. Just the same as any other auction but you have in-game money. Now I'll show you that as well. You start off with £1,000. Now I can't say how much that is worth on the server because I don't know if there is a shop. Uh, there should be a shop. Yep, there we are. Whoop, shop. So we'll just go check that out, see how much it costs. As you can see there also is a teleportation um, time before you move any... Wow. That's really not that expensive. Uh, so yeah, a diamond sword is only $50. So as you can see, a £1,000 is going to get you pretty much a lot of stuff. So yeah, you can't really complain about that at all. So yeah, that's quite good indeed. Obsidian seem to be very expensive, which is fair enough, I guess. Um, so yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, you can buy all the items you need. You're not exactly going to be running out of items very quickly as you got a lot of money blah blah, blah. yeah uh, so what was I saying so yeah a thousand pounds is obviously quite a lot and if you're gonna be auctioning off you wanna be auctioning it for obviously a, a little bit less than what it is in the store so if you wanted to auction off for example the iron pants for example you'd probably start it off at about thirty to forty dollars because people will be wanting to get them cheaper than the shop you're not going to start trying to sell it off for higher than the in-store price because people just aren't going to buy it um, so yeah that's out of the way what else have we got plugins wise uh, we've got MC MMO I believe uh, which is again I have mentioned in a previous YouTube episode basically what this is is it adds an RPG kind of feature to the game basically the more you mine the more you uh, cut down trees the more you even fall off of cliffs you will level up for basically everything and anything so yeah that's pretty awesome and if you like advancing in the game you've actually got leaderboards for that kind of thing as well um, MCMMO I think so yeah uh, MCMMO top let's see if that works uh, MCC top that's the one uh, I haven't done it in a while. Mm. MCC. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. MC Top, that's the one. So, yeah, as you can see, we've got a leaderboard. And if you want to be getting up towards the top, you're going to need a lot of work. So, yeah, that's how you get a bit of recognition on the server as well. If you work your way up the leaderboards, you're obviously going to be more well known, like this guy here, Moto Ride R199. Shout out to him if you're watching this episode. Yeah, um, so yeah, if you like the look of the server, there will be a link in the description. And if you've got any more questions, of course, just message me either on my YouTube channel or on my PMC channel. Uh, uh, another few things on the server is obviously the warps. So yeah, we've got kind of stuff like here. Um, I'm going to show off the warp parkour because I have been there before. Basically what this is, if you don't know what parkour is, it's kind of like a jump puzzle. And you've got to work your way to the end. Now this one is quite hard. Uh, it might not look at it at first, but I have tried this several times and failed. Now if I get it first time, uh, this is going to be pretty epic. So yeah, this is the bit that got me last time. Uh, wow, I'm actually doing alright. So yeah, I'm failed. I'm not going to waste the episode failing at the same challenge, but I'm just going to show you the parkour challenge and show you just how long it is. And the thing is about this challenge, if you fall off, you've got to start all the way from the beginning again. So yeah, blah blah blah. blah. Also, the touch pack I'm using on the server right now is the one that I designed myself, Arcane Craft Mic. Two, a 32 bit touch pack if you like the look of it uh, again message me or go on my PMC account it is one of my latest updates so yeah you can check that out just a shout out for that so th this bit here is the end of the parkour challenge you end up in here and yeah I have no idea what it says inside so I can't show you but as you can see you drop down through there and then there's obviously some kind of prize I guess in there. Anyway, so yeah, any questions, message me and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. That's about it for now and uh